What's up, boys? Wanted to use some mutt action. It's been a while since we've seen the main team. And Randall Cunningham just came out. The same quarterback that led me to my belt. So I have to put him on the team. If you guys want to watch me play live, twitch.tv slash dub dot. That link is below. Along with all my social media. Stay tuned because the Madden Classic leaderboard is this weekend. Going to be playing tons of regs. I've been grinding tons of regs leaderboard. And Ball Spot Wars 2 is also this weekend. More updates on that coming soon. So make sure you follow everywhere. All the info you can get, get a hold of it. So let's take a look at this team. It's been a while since I showed you my Mutt team. Let's take a look at it, and we'll go over what I got. Now, I have 50-50 Raiders. If you guys aren't rocking a the theme team, you guys are sleeping right now. Get plus two speed to every single player that's on the Raiders or was on the Raiders. So that's going to start with Darren Waller, the best tight end in the game. Uh, I believe he's 97 speed. Now, got to have that. 97 speed tight end is insane. 6'6", 97 speed. He's absolutely unguardable right now uh and then we got a raiders o-line o-line doesn't matter that much to me as long as they're not terrible they're pretty good we have jerry rice in the slot we're gonna rock randy moss and we're gonna marcel reese at fullback alvin kamara at running back uh, i have barry i have Bo. i, I use kamara he's the best pass catching running back in the game he's gonna catch some passes uh i don't use henry ruggs he's just there for raiders along with patterson and cooper i have Terry McLaurin with Playmaker. That's one of the abilities I use, but I hide him right here. So, I, you know, I don't take up a chem. I can use the chem on Raiders. I hide him and kick returner. So that's my third wide receiver. Um, and we're going to use Randall. Take a look at Randall. This is this is the card I've, I've been waiting for. 96 speed. That's, that's tough, man. 99 throw power. 98 throw under pressure. 99 deep accuracy. I mean, he's everything you want. The ultimate weapon, Randall Cunningham. So we'll, we'll pair him with Randy Moss. Waller, Terry McLaurin, and Jerry Rice. The other abilities I use, like I said, Playmaker, but then I use Deep Out Elite on Darren Waller, as you see right here. Deep Out Elite on Darren Waller, and I use it on Randy Moss. Both of them will catch streaks. Both of them will catch deep corner routes uh, for me. So that's my last two AP. We got six on Randall Cunningham with Gunslinger and Hot Route Master, and then one each on Waller and Randy Moss, and four on the Playmaker with Terry McLaurin which I think is the best ability in the game. So you guys should be using Playmaker if you're not. Defense, uh, whew, we run what? Six safe, no, five safeties, three corners, and three down linemen. So um, I've been rocking the little 3-3-5 wide now. It's a, just really pretty much the meta defense with all comp Madden has been 3-3-5 wide. And we'll see both players in this game run it. So uh, at linebacker, I rock. Who do I rock at linebacker? I use not Brian Dawkins. I use... Simmons, I use Justin Reed, and I use Derwin, that new Derwin James. That's who I use as my user, the new Derwin James, who I actually hide, I believe, here. This is my new user, the new Derwin. I'm sure all you guys have this card. Um, 98 speed, Derwin James, insane card, 6'2", change of direction, agility, everything. Derwin James uh, should be on your team somewhere. So those are my linebackers. My two safeties back is my dream pairing of safeties, Brian Dawkins, Sean Taylor. I mean... That's a safety dream right there. I would say of the three, put in put Ed Reed in that mix. Those are the three best safeties ever. Sean Taylor, Brian Dawkins, Ed Reed for sure. So and them corner, I've been rocking. I'm rock Dion, Rod Woodson, and I just got this new Namdi. Namdi, I put him in the slot, let him go to work. I mean, that's just insane for a Raiders card. Raiders theme team, 99. Not, literally, this is a golden ticket card. 6'3, 99 across the board. 99s across the board. Namdi, awesome. Wah. Um, great corner. So I'm going to put him in a slot and I'm going to run one step and acrobat on him. So I'm going to man him up to a lot of slot receivers. And then I'm going to run acrobat on Dion. I'm going to run acrobat on my user, which is Derwin James. And then I'm going to run Justin Reed, who's a safety in the box. He's going to have one step and acrobat. That's five AP on that. But my goal with that is to match him up on the tight ends. I want to make sure he's always on the tight end so I can't get beat by Darren Waller. I can't get beat by Finley, whatever tight end is giving you trouble. So I often have to flip him in the formation to make sure he's always going to be on the wide side, always going to guard the tight end. That's pretty much my goal. So now I know that I have Namdi and I have Justin Reed. Those guys both have acrobat and one step, man. If you guys are running acrobat or one step you should definitely have acrobat because if they have one step they're just going to guard and knock the ball away if they have one step and acrobat they want to dive and get those interceptions that's why i like running my one steps with acrobat it's better to have two or three one steps with acrobat than four one steps i think that's a super wasted cap um the, the acrobat just makes them more powerful so i'm going to rock those 
those two guys are pretty much my lockdown guys. Rod Woodson and Deion Sanders, they're not going to uh, they're not going to lock people up, but they're going to do a good job. They're going to get it done. And we have Sean Taylor, Brian Dawkins over the top. Uh, I'm, I'm going to rush this game, Lawrence Taylor, and I use Ted Hendricks. Really love this card. Um, I don't know if you guys are using him, but he's 6'7". Let's take a look. I, I, I can't wait for his ultimate legend. I think he's one of the most underrated players in the game. He's huge, 93 speed, and if you look, the, the, the hidden thing about him, finesse move, power move, all that good stuff, right? But you go down here to defense, okay, he's got 93 zone. Like, this is an insane card. It's really no weakness in Ted Hendricks, also known as the Stork. So I use him. D-Tackle, I actually went and got Montez Sweat uh, to play D-Tackle because every D-Tackle is going to fight a little bit. But that Montez Sweat guy, he's a little bit different because when he gets to the quarterback, that 96 speed is going to get it done. So that's my team. That's what I'm rocking with in Mutt now. Like I said, if you guys don't have a theme team, you're really slacking. Uh, get together. I went 50-50 Raiders. Get that super boost on all the Raiders card. There's plenty of teams you can do that are decent. Uh, Washington, the Niners is good again. The Eagles is always good. We're looking for that T.O. card, though. We need that on the Eagles. But this game was against a club winner. So not Gucci, the Saints club winner. So it's going to be a great game. Pay attention to the little things, man. It's bunch versus bunch. It's 3-3-5 wide versus 3-3-5 wide. It looks really similar, but it comes down to who can execute better and who can come up with the big plays that's what makes madden great obviously man you can try to run meta stuff you can try to run the same thing but if you don't have that it factor you don't make the right calls at the right time you're going to struggle so let's get into this game all right boys so like i said this is a club winner we got to be on our p's and q's now these guys with their names you don't really realize oh this is such a such until somebody tells you in the chat i go into the game thinking this is a regular person but quickly learn okay this guy's kind of sweaty He's kind of tough as we go with a, That's why that, I use that playmaker. It works for his man end zone. Make sure you guys get that on your field. Right here, he tries to bring some pressure. Dump it off to that 97 speed. Darren Waller, super tough uh, addition to the team. Um, there we go. Another dot, Jerry Rice. Now, not a lot of people are using Jerry Rice. I still like this 6'2 route runner. I think uh, having that card there is really tough because, you know, he can jump over zones. Uh, he can, if you throw a bad pass, maybe hold Y as we throw underneath the Randy Moss right here on the out route. Touchdown. Get to the end zone, 99 speed Randy Moss, Raiders chem. Although I think Moss is 99 speed with just one chem. Now you don't need double chems to get Randy Moss to 99 speed. So I don't know if there'll be a route running wide receiver that I'll put over Jerry Rice. Maybe Calvin, not that he's a route runner, but I might put him there. Or maybe, oh, that's another great card. Justin Reed actually getting beat right there. Maybe Chad Johnson when he comes out. But Jerry Rice is so solid for me as we see Namdi getting beat right here. Remember I told you, Justin Reed and Namdi are my money men. I need you guys to lock up. I've spent a lot of AP on you guys. Right there, I actually bumped into Justin Reed. Kind of a pick play. Rubbed him off of the route. Pause. But now we say again, Namdi getting whooped by this new Isaac Bruce. Now I was intrigued by Isaac Bruce, um, but like I said, that 98 speed Jerry Rice is good enough for me. 6'2, 98 speed. Still gets it done uh, with this Raiders chem. But, and once again, there it is. Namdi getting whooped by Jerry or, uh, Isaac Bruce. He's got this new Isaac Bruce and he's killing. He's killing Namdi. Right there, Isaac Bruce kills Rod Woodson. So. Mid game, you know, my plan as I showed you my team is that Namdi and Justin Reed are gonna lock up the tight end in the slot. Then I can zone everybody else out. That was kind of my plan. Right now, that plan did not go very well the first drive, man. So I might have to switch things up. I might have to mix it around. And right there, he goes with a little bit of match coverage, catches me lacking on the corner route over there. But once again, we hit this flat route. Randy Moss, man, when people put their zone drops deep down the field, make sure you're taking underneath stuff. As we see Randy Moss right there, picking up another huge play on that quick flat route, man. It's so underrated because people really don't want to put their zones so far back for corner routes, but you can hit them underneath and get some big yards right here. Um, he gets the ball to have, so I got to get some points here. Preferably, I don't want to give him the ball back. He went down the field a little bit too easily for my liking, so uh, I'd like to make this last drive a half. I hear nothing doing. Gonna get rid of the ball with Randall Cunningham. The one thing I'll tell you, I don't scramble that much. Uh, this year is definitely a pocket passer's year. And if you're not used to scrambling, uh, it's gonna, uh, even watching this game back a couple times, man, I could have took off a lot more with the quarterback. Just really not used to it. But we'll do it right here on this third and six. Randall slides. And the only thing ugly about Randall is this number seven. Like he is number 12, always and forever for the Eagles. Number seven is Michael Vick. 
Once again, Randy Moss dumping it off in the flat, picking up a first down. We stay in bounds. Keep that clock running, which is okay. I'm gonna come out here and just run a base. You know, I'm, I just don't want the ball back. Time is my friend. We almost get an end zone. Sean Taylor tackles me. Now 16 seconds, so he gets the ball back. We'll go second and one. We'll run a fullback dive. We don't get in, but we get the first down. One time out left, we're gonna run again. Uh, just try to run uh, quarterback sneak right here. I've seen it work for a couple people, but never works for me, right? Our quarterback sneaks never work. Now, this is where I assess the game, man. If I score a touchdown here, that gives me a huge command in this game. If I don't score it now, because I have no timeouts, you could try to throw a pass. I pretty much put aggressive, aggressive on it. I said, you know what? If I score a touchdown right here, I love my chances to win. I feel like I, my, my risk reward right here, if I don't score, he gets the ball back. You know, I ultimately have the ball at worst case in order to try to tie. I just think getting a touchdown here against a good player is so enormous. And we run the ball right there and get in the end zone with that aggressive, aggressive. Had I got a holding penalty, I would have took my three. Um, but we didn't. The O-line held up and we scored the end zone right there. That's what I mean about making the calls. You know, I wanted seven there. I didn't want to go 10 to seven at halftime, kick him the ball off, and he might go 14 to 10. Uh, I, I risked it right there, and I thought it was worth it to get that touchdown right there. The end of half, nothing doing. So I'm in a great spot because even with a four-minute play clock, man, as easy as he played offense, worst case scenario is I get a money drive tied up. So we're kicking off second half. Just got to make him work a little bit. Like I said, it looked like he's going to score a touchdown pretty much. Just got to make him work to the point where it Namdi getting beat again. To the point where I can, I, you know, I can get the last drive of the game. Because that touchdown that I got allowed me to do that. Dumps it off right here to Barry Sanders. Might I might start running Barry Sanders at running back. He's, he's pretty tough, isn't he, boys? And he goes corner out here. Isaac Bruce doesn't get his feet in, though. A little bit early. Or a little bit late with the pass. Get him to the second and ten. We're playing a little bit better here. Playing a little bit of defense, nobody open, he rolls out, nothing, going to throw the ball away with that Deshaun Watson, who is the same archetype as Randall Cunningham, just a little bit worse. Tries to go up top right here, Sean Taylor gets over there, keep them two safety, Sean Taylor, Brian Dawkins, get him to a fourth and ten right here, and we send everybody, turn the ball over, just like that. So next play, after the turn, we're going to go up top, we think Randy Moss has a step, but Jamal Adams comes back and gets the interception. So we turn it right back. I went for everything right there. I went for the win. I went for the game. I went for the, I went up top. Did not work out for me. Randy Moss gets the ball taken by Jamal Adams. So we're right back where we started. We're still up seven. Feeling great, feeling good. He tries to go over the middle. Don't play with Dion. That guy's still the best corner in the game. Cause you guys see how Namdi's out here getting done. Not very great. Dumps the ball off over here. Cause I needed two zones to help Namdi on Isaac Bruce that I left the tight end open there. Here he shows up top. Isaac Bruce fries me right there. He's inside scoring range right here, inside the 30. Next play again, he's going to go with that same flood play. Probably one of the best, probably the best play in the game is flood out a bunch this year. I mean, it's really tough to guard everything on it, especially if you add a little playmaker like he does right there to Tyreek Hill. He's getting in the scoring zone, and right here he hits Waller over the middle. Touchdown. Good read. Good dot. Tie the game up. So this is where I wanted to be, right? We got the game at our hands. Four minutes and 14 seconds left in the game. That's where we're at. We can run this all the way down. We're gonna run right here just to get to the get to the two minute or get to the fourth quarter. That's why we call a run right there. Get it done. Boom. So now we're in the fourth quarter. Looked like I had the corner route right there. I didn't like it too much though. I didn't. Man covers this pretty good on that tight end corner route. We're gonna go back to the same play here. We're gonna hit this crossing route over the middle, but overthrown Jerry Rice. I don't know if that was the game, if it was Randall, if it was Jerry. Third and 10, big play right here. We're going back to that corner route. Darren Waller catches, but he gets out of bounds. So that's going to extend the game. Right now, I want the game to go by fast, really fast. I don't want him to get the ball again. So we run right there, get hit stick, but we run some clock off. We're able to dump it off underneath. Um, Terry McLaurin, that's my guy. Uh, that's my playmaker. First down, I guess four yards on that. No big deal. Go up top to the corner route right here. Smoke him, Jerry Rice, inside the 15 yard line. Let's run some clock here. Next play, we're going to drop back find Darren Waller back in the end zone Raiders chem touchdown we take the lead 21 to 14 um feels good but we still got two minutes and 36 seconds left. can we get off the field can we make some plays on defense so far we got to that one fourth down where we sent the crib might have to mix up that pressure a little bit more right here we send five or at least four it gets blocked up oh almost crushed Tyree kill one time I'll be trying to get too many hit sticks trying to go crazy uh right here first and ten bro we're around the two minute warning 
he dumps it off and we're going to get to the two minute warning right here he has two timeouts man i gotta get the ball back he needs a touchdown which isn't the easiest thing to do huge sack as we get him to a third down next play he's going to go ahead no huddle to the line i already know he's a little flustered and he flips and i say you know what we're just going to send the dogs right here everybody on the left side is coming to the party we send six at him we lurk this left side and we get that acrobat pick derwin derwin versus the world get up go baja no he doesn't but we're already in field goal range. We're already up seven. We're just gonna air the ball out right here. Alvin Kamara, make him use some timeouts. Next play, we're gonna run another dive and we're gonna get the first down and he's gonna fall to the flow because he doesn't want no mo. GG's in the chat, man. If you guys like the Mutt games, the Regs game, let me know. What's your favorite Madden to watch in the comments below?